Welcome to the Messy Mind Podcast, a show to support you in seeing entrepreneurship isn't always a straight line to get to your light bulb moments. I'm your host, Tammy L. Davis. For this episode in particular, I wanted to explore how rest is crucial for mompreneurs. Yes, I realize that rest is really important for everyone. However, as a mother who handles quite a bit on a daily basis, including running a business, there were some things that I had discovered and wanted to share regarding this precious commodity called rest. So let's dive in. In my last episode, as I offered tips to thrive as a mompreneur, I touched on the seven different types of rest. Yes, there are seven types of rest, and it was a shock to me as well. But before I dive into the seven types, let me first tell you how I discovered these different types of rest. Last year, 2020, as many of you may have been feeling, like me, I was literally crawling across the finish line towards the end of the year. By the time December of last year had come, I was done. My family and I had been living in three states, managing virtual work and school, keeping connected and engaged with our kids while keeping the finger on the pulse with our own mental well-being. Look, needless to say, I was exhausted. I lacked motivation, creativity, and inspiration. I knew I needed a rest, but it was a different type of rest I longed for, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. Then I thought, would that do? Meaning, would it be enough for me to take two weeks off over the holidays and get a good eight hours of sleep each night? That's when my curiosity peaked and I started my quest to discover what I really needed to do to rejuvenate, re-energize, and re-emerge. I was always told when the grasshopper was ready, information will present itself, and it did. I did not need to dive too deep into my research when I discovered Dr. Sandra Dalton-Smith, author of Sacred Rest, Recover Your Life, Renew Your Energy, Renew Your Sanity. According to Dr. Dalton Smith, we need seven types of rest to actually feel rejuvenated, re-energized, and live the type of life we desire. Get a piece of paper, get your pencil if you haven't already, or pen, because I'm going to go through the seven types of rest. According to Dr. Dalton Smith, we need seven types of rest to actually feel rejuvenated, re-energized, and live the type of life we desire. The seven types of rest are physical, mental, social, creative, emotional, spiritual, and sensory. One of my favorite tweets from Dr. Dalton Smith is what I experienced. She said, if you're waking up after sleeping and still exhausted, the issue probably isn't sleep. It's likely a rest deficit. But I wanted to understand what type of rest was a deficit for me. I initially had said I thought it was emotionally, physically, uh, and mental, but it may have been a different type. While I have yet to dive fully into Dr. Dalton Smith's book, I would like to highlight the few types of rest that resonated with me. And I discovered what type of rest I was operating at a deficit. We all understand emotional, physical, mental, and social, but the types of rest I needed was creative and sensory. I discovered I work my creative levels more than I'd like to admit. From planning what type of virtual birthday celebration we will have for our children to brainstorming advanced solutions with our team, I'm constantly channeling my creative thinking. And during this pandemic, I was working my creativity in overdrive. Between supporting our clients with thoughtful new ways of working remotely, to finding new recipes, to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, to discovering different ways to move our bodies since the gym was closed had gotten the best of me. I always knew I needed to catch up on my sensory rest since I was in screen overload. Too many news articles, keeping track of coronavirus restrictions, rates across three states was draining. 
In addition, I started to develop neck and eye strain from always looking at the COVID-19 tracking and weather apps on my phone or on my iPad. Needless to say, hashtag team too much. Now, I did take off two weeks starting the day after Christmas, or really, I took off two weeks starting the day before Christmas through the first week in January 2021. I did return to reality and I felt, in the great words of Alex Herndon, rejuvenated, re-energized, and re-emerged. However, as the week started to pass, I started to feel a bit distracted. When I start to feel this way, it's my signal to rest, but now what type or which type of rest did I need? Perfect question that I was able to answer. I recently discovered that Dr. Dalton Smith has a free personal rest assessment. Once you take the assessment, you'll receive a complimentary rest deficit analysis to learn what type of rest you've been missing. I should have taken the assessment upon my return to the real world or reality in January to check my numbers, but I did, again, recently take it a few days ago, and I noticed finding my optimal levels of rest does require a shift in lifestyle in order to successfully impact my life and live it the way that I truly uh, can thrive myself. I will place the link to the free assessment along with two additional links to access Dr. Dalton Smith's publications along with more information on her work as a whole. But please let me know, once you take the assessment, if you're listening to this uh, podcast in the Anchor app, you know you can leave me a voicemail message. If not, you can always shoot me an email because I would love to hear about your journey in finding the rest you need. Thank you for joining us this time on the Messy Mind Podcast. Please visit our website at themessymindpod.com. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, if you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate a rating on Apple Podcast or simply tell a friend about the show. Always remember to embrace the messiness of entrepreneurship. It can lead to your light bulb moments.